What's up guys, this is Crazy Cod Jumper. Um decided to make this video just because yeah, whatever. But in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do like make the file size smaller in the video. Pretty much it's called compressing the video, but in other words I just wanna make it a little easier for you guys to understand. So pretty much Look at how big this size is. 457 megabytes. What? What? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, many of you guys might not get that reference, but some people will. And yeah. So, first of all, what you want to do is you want to be on these sites. Xvid. I'll put these links in the description. Here's the Xvid codec. And here's Virtual Dub. You could use Virtual Dub. You could use the Xvid codec. It's called the mini converter I believe it comes with the download so so pretty much you'll get this file you'll open it and hold on you want to just well pretty much just installing it is like hands-on easy so but there's really no hard doing in this video it's just it's just simply clicking pretty much so yeah Let it open oh yeah right there xvid codec you want to select your English, English, or <laughs> your language. Okay, Xvid Codex Setup Wizard. Next, I accept. There's no need to read this. Next, pick a file location. And next, um, you don't really need to be updated. I personally don't think it's needed. So yeah, just put next. You'll install it. I already have it installed, but I don't think it really does anything. So. I'm gonna just let it install and finish on. Just let just so you guys will find out. View readme file, sure. Yeah, it's really hands on. <laughs> and I've said that lots of times. So pretty much I believe you should have it already. If not, well easiest way to tell is downloading a uh, virtual dub. You'll be going to this site. Again, links will be in the description, so Download one to, for the 32-bit or the 64-bit. 64-bit is what I have, so I'll be clicking that. Um. <clears throat> All right, right here, your virtual dub will start downloading, and just let that finish up. Let's see what's all in here. Oh yeah, um, I just, hold on, I'll talk about it after this. So yeah, you'll get all this, and what you're going to want to install is the vdub64.exe. You just click that, and press any button. Wait, no? Sorry about that. That was a mistake. V, v -E -E dub 64 exe and that's it. You don't have to install it or anything. You'll have it already. But I already have that, so I'm not going to be using that one. I'll be using the one in my Rocket Dock. I may, may, I may make a video of how to install Rocket Dock and many tutorials, but yeah. So pretty much what you can do is look up Xvid in your, uh, in your search bar, and you should have Xvid Mini Converter, and then you should also have that. That's pretty much just the starting kit of it all to run I don't know I'm not too sure about it but the mini converter basically you just select a file you wanted converted like we'll do this one this is a four second video Hold on, I'm gonna show you this is pretty much of the video it's a four second video 457 megabytes that's I don't know that's just stupid that's stupid <laughs> it's ridiculous but still we're gonna save it to the desktop just to see how how big of a change it change into whatever click convert some videos may take a while like a little bit ago I just did like a 11 minute video it took about it took about 11 minutes it goes about the same as how long the video is sometimes conversion finish so you exit that and let's see length 7.04 megabytes that's amazing so it's the same quality, nothing really changes. I I don't think anything changes the quality. And you could also use it on what do you call it? virtual dub? You just open up virtual dub, open video file, um, 
Let me find it. Videos, Minecraft videos, and this is the four second video. And pretty much that's it. Now you go to your video. Or that, that was stupid, okay. Just go to video and then go to. Wait, oh, that's audio. Go to video, compression. Oh, you already could just do control P. And then select which one you want to choose. You got XVID, video compact codec, XVID, meh, um, MPEG 4 codec. And personally, I none of them really matter. You could click this one. MPEG 4 is obviously for if you want an MPEG 4 file. So XVID video codec is what I choose. Or I don't know. Sometimes I choose this one. But then you'll have to configure it. And you're going to want to change some of these. But yeah. The smallest file size. You're going to want to change that to the, to the bottom. So yeah. You can choose that, or you can choose XVID, or X, wait, that's XPAR, I'm so stupid, sorry about that. XVID, it's always going to come into an MPEG-4 <laughs> codec, I'm sorry about that, but still, you want to go to configure, and you want to put it at 1, and it's not the maximum quality, it's pretty much just how it's going to turn out, so, yeah, then you just go to file, save as AVI. Or you could press F7, and we're just gonna compare this to like the other one. Put compress, and you could save it. There you go. You could make it faster by going process thread priority. Put it to even higher. If you saw what was just there, so yeah. Let's see. 18.9. So that's why I usually use the small video converter. The mini video, Xvid mini converter, so yeah, recommend using that. So, but the cool thing about the other one is you can increase the speed, stuff like that, but it's not really necessary. So, yeah, I'll include this the quality of the video at the end, and that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Crazy Cod Jumper. I hope this tutorial helped you, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'm very proud of the subscribers. The amount I just have, it's just amazing. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.